This morning I'm mixing up a tray of potting soil for my seedlings that need to be transplanted. My mixture is potting soil, perlite, and cocoa core. Now it's snowing outside and the beauty about gardening indoors under grow lights as you get a head start on the weather, no matter what's going on outside. So as you can see, I have a tray of pots with potting soil. I started these back in January. I have kale. I even have an early, early girl tomato growing back here. Um, so now it's time to pot up some of these uh, plants. I have spinach, and the spinach is doing very well. I'm growing them in little pods. Remember the pea pods that I talked about? Look at the root system. They can't take being in the little pots anymore. So what I'm going to do, and I have two seedlings that are coming up in this uh, pot and honestly I probably could separate the two from each other and pop both of them up but what I'm doing today is I'm sacrificing some of the weakest seedlings so what I'm going to do so I don't disturb the roots and the growth of the spinach in this container is to snip it right off. Now, once I do that, even though they say these uh, pea pods are biodegradable, I like to open them up just a little bit to allow the roots to continue to um, grow. Now what I have is a potting mixture that I'm just going to dig in. Uh, I think I'm going to take a little bit more out. Place it down inside of the container. And then I will add just a little bit more of the potting mixture. Now remember, I talked about succession planting. So even though I snipped off that spinach, I have other spinach growing. I don't need all of my spinach to germinate or grow at the same time. So the sacrifice won't go, uh, won't be a problem. So what I have is a mixture of potting soil in my container that I've already mixed up. I'm just going to add, I don't know if you can see this or not off camera, add just a little bit more of the potting mixture. Yes, it can get a little messy, but that's okay. I should have used my green tray. I didn't bring out the green tray. So even though the spinach has been growing uh, in the pea pot, I sacrificed the one and it will continue to grow in this container until I'm ready to uh, take it out to the garden. And they too will go into grow bags. Let's see, my next one is kale. We talked about kale once before. And that's been growing in the little pea pellet for about a month, month and two weeks. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to sacrifice uh, one of the seeds that did germinate, but it's weak. I'm going to snip it off right at the root. And the reason I'm snipping off the, uh, the seedling 
instead of pulling it out. You don't want to disturb the roots that have already started. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to continue on with all of my seedlings. Let's open this up a little bit. After I complete my tray, I'm going to give them just a drink of water today and um, place them back under grow lights. Check on them. See how they're doing in about a week. Make sure they're okay in their new containers. And let's do one more. I believe I have one that's tilted, so let's straighten him up a little. It'll be okay. Um, let's see what else I have back here. I have cilantro. I started my cilantro. Ah, the cilantro roots are really growing. And I'm going to have to sacrifice one. Many. <laughs> All of the seed, it looks like all the seeds that I uh, started in the pea pods germinated. So I'm just going to tear it out a little bit to give them more room to grow. And again, I'm just going to snip off. Now this has the, tr the true leaves as well as the actual leaf of the cilantro. So this is the one that I'm going to keep. And the rest... I'm going to snip off to give this plant more room to grow. So you just take your snippers. I don't know if you can see that. And you just cut them off. And allow this to continue to grow. So I'm going to place this down. in the pot. So I will continue with all of my uh, seedlings that I need to up pot. There you go. Uh, this is cilantro. I'll keep the original tag and on the back I'll start marking today's date to indicate when it was transplanted. And the FM indicates that this was a pack of seeds from Fairy Morris. Um, there are other ones that I've tried. And I'd like to do a comparison every now and then. Here's another one for cilantro. These two I will snip off. And I'll pot them up in the container. Let's see, I have a leafy one back here. I'm trying to see what this is. This is more kale. The kale is doing very well. So I'll pot that up. And let's see, I know I have a tomato plant back here. Let's see if I can get it out. Okay, the roots are coming through. This is a early girl early girl tomato so I'm going to snip two of the leaves off and I'll leave this one to grow I'll open it up to give the roots room to expand and grow and let's see what other one do I have? Uh, I have dill. Dill is growing in here. Let's see if I can get the dill out. The dill I usually grow just in case I have the caterpillars. And they usually ravish this plant. So I'm going to, since I have and this is a little leggy, but it's okay. I'm going to still pot it up. I'm going to snip off a 
I'm going to sacrifice the leggy one and give the other two. Let's take another one off of the deal. Dill is good for your seasoning as well. I'm going to keep this one here and pot it up. And I'll go on and on until I clear out my um, container. And tray them all up. And let's see, what is this? That's spinach. Try not to disturb them. They're growing so well. It's time for them to move on make room for more seedlings to grow and let's see this is the collards I believe this is the collards look at the roots in the pea pods so this definitely has to be potted up well I sacrifice the collards I'm going to try to open up the whole pod on the collards and transplant all three because they all have their true leaves and they're stretching for light. So I'm going to pot them all three up off camera. So this is what I'm going to do. This is my project for today. And I probably will post a picture at a later time on Instagram of my seedlings that I transplanted and how well they're doing. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Happy gardening.